Gardensville community, period. It's funny to be on the other side of the fence and just hear the comments. You know, people guessing what stuff is, just ooh and ah. Seeing somebody out here at six in the morning, standing in the street, just looking at the sunflowers. I mean, that's, that's what it's here for. Just because of how people look at them and when they see them and just how it changes their mood. I didn't want it to be symmetrical. I didn't want it to everything to be lined up. I want it to be like a forest. I like to live on the edge, so I plant, I plant mint where you're not supposed to. These are seed pods, and um, these things, the seeds are in here. The wind takes them all over the place. And you'll wind up with broccoli two blocks away, and people wonder why. I didn't plant no broccoli. How the hell did I get broccoli? Plants want to live, you know, and they're going to morph, and they're going to do things, and they're going to follow the sun everything they can do to survive. They let you know what they want, they let you know what they need. And here's, I'm providing an environment where they can live. To me, it's like my solace right now. Plants change people. I have conversations with people that I've seen for years that I would never imagine. This takes some people back home, because a lot of people are from the South, and now they're living in apartment buildings where they used to be on land. I had people that would drive by and say, I just wanted my mom to see your garden. Hey, look, mom, this is what you used to do, I guess. And they knew that their mom would you know, feel good about seeing this. There's um, an elderly Japanese guy, and he would come early in the morning, and he would just walk the paths. I mean, slow, he would just walk the paths of the garden, and he's in his 80s, and he doesn't speak English, he'd just walk, walk in the garden. So uh, we you know, found a way to communicate sign language, and um, he brought me some plants that he wanted me to grow. I found a mother and a daughter out here at 10.30 at night. You don't just go somewhere at 10.30 at night, especially over here in somebody's garden at 10.30 at night, unless you, you really need it, and, and it hurt me, it made me sad. You know, and I told them, you know, take what you want. Why should there be people hungry here? One plant will give you a thousand, two thousand, twenty thousand seeds. We have the land to plant them. If you look down the streets here, you see all this brown grass and grass, grass, when you can be feeding people. They call areas like this throughout the United States, you know, food deserts. I thought, you know, why not have food for us?